Oh my goodness. You guys, I am at Hartford House Antiques in Berg Hill, Ohio. And wait until you see what they have done inside this early building. I am just blown away. So this whole room here area was not available for a video last year. Um, I'll make sure to link the video from this, this shop uh, last year in the description. Uh, Steve was telling me they stripped the walls, everything right down to the post and beam and redid all of that, added these amazing peg rails to be able to hang things from, the trim on the windows and the front door all come from uh, a local historic home. This, it, this just takes my breath away. It is so gorgeous. You know, it almost has, it is certainly early. That's, I'm not saying that. Very historic. But it almost has this modern line feel. It's just incredible. Colors. Um, Steve said they put uh, radiant floor heat in underneath the concrete floors. I love the wainscoting all along the walls. You're going to still hear probably some things in the background as they're getting ready for their open house, their Christmas open house that starts today and also Saturday. So the open house starts today, December 1st at 4 o'clock. And then we'll continue on Saturday, tomorrow, December 2nd. It's just, there's so much work that goes into staging and getting all the materials in. But here in this case, they're doing like this major building renovation as well. It is, oh my goodness. It is just stunning. Look at that humpback trunk with that beautiful blue and those gorgeous, gorgeous crocs on a incredible bucket bench. What I'm seeing here, I, I hesitated because these dovetails that are on the top look very much like the dovetails in the desk that I have. I'm not, that's, love it. And then for those of you who like me, love stone fruit, look at this amazing container of the stone fruit here on this long table. My goodness. It might even have been Nancy Kalen who had suggested that when you have a collection of these to make sure you always have some piece or pieces of fruit that are that dark, rich, black color. Because without those, the rest of the colors can sometimes be flat, but that black adds just an amazing depth. Just amazing. The paintings, the crocs, the furniture, look at the stone wall. There's so much, so much to take in in this space. And that grain painting 
in that corner cupboard. Wow. Just gorgeous. So if you're wondering where um, Berg Hill, Ohio is in relation to some other things, um, this shop hasn't been here um, all that long in relation to other shops. So uh, the distance from, let's say, Seville Antiques to here is about an hour and 20 minutes. So if that gives you, and this is on, I've called it the east coast of Ohio. It's more to the, to the far east side. This is about 40 minutes from the uh, Western Reserve Antique Shop. And um, Meander Hill is also kind of in this whole vicinity. So if you're looking for shops that are on the east side, of the state of Ohio, northeast side, then trying to give you the lay of the land of um, what else to be putting on your bucket list, putting on your map, and putting on your calendar for, if not this year, next year. Steve does ship. Um, so if you see something here that you love, make sure I will put the contact information in the video in the um, on the screen and then also in the description box so the best thing that you can do for us for our channel for all of these amazing shops here in Ohio is hit that share button we've had over a million views in the last year in the year that this channel has been uh, going and we have less than 10,000 subscribers so you do the math. I don't think all of you are watching thousands of times. That would be great if you are. But if you're watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, it doesn't cost anything. It helps for YouTube to be able to send other um, shows and things that would be right up your alley. So it's great for you to do it. Hit that subscribe button. It's also wonderful for all of these small businesses, these small shops um, that are holding on to the history of our country, of our ancestors, of those who went before us. So let's keep going. This is a large shop and it's got just an incredible inventory. So we'll keep on going. Okay, so a little insider tip here. There are seven of the Arnett Santas that will be making their appearance here for the show. Those will not be shipped. You have to come in order to um, be able to get one of those. Look at that beautiful, beautiful corner cupboard with the glass knobs. Just stunning. Love those boxes and check out all of the, oh my goodness, look at this. There's one. And here's another one. Oh, and the candle mold for the single candles. That one looks like maybe copper, I would say. I don't think I've seen one like that before. All right, let's keep going. I could just go down a rabbit hole, and my video could be five hours long here. So, all right. Gorgeous. Trumbull County, Ohio, tall case clock, either Ansel Merrill or Gary Lewis. Stunning. And this stack, again, we've said in several of the other videos how it's just 
part of our decorating style that there's not just one on the floor you can get another and another so it doesn't take up more floor space you're just stacking these beautiful pieces of of our art very nice four drawer cabinet and there is one of the one of the Arnett's. There's a windmill weight of a horse. Lovely cabinet, beautiful hinges. And these gorgeous baskets, early baskets on top. To back up here so I can show you also the stack of trunks here on this side and again we've seen these before used this way it is a rope bed rail the side rail it's been cut in half and then you can hang these here in this case is early lighting pieces from uh, that rail but you add you know you have the age and what a neat what a neat look and here more of those early lighting pieces also early bottles and here this gorgeous redware ovoid jug and when I say ovoid so you can see the difference. This would be a round bottom. And this shape is much more pronounced around the middle and then goes back in at the bottom. And that's where you would describe something as being an ovoid jug. O-V-O-I-D. I wonder who's going to be here. Are you coming tonight? Which, when you see this, would be last night, probably. Are you planning on coming on Saturday? There's a lovely candle box here on top of this cupboard. Gorgeous. Okay, so we're in yet another room here at Hartford House. And, oh, if you could hear all the commotion that's going on in the background getting this place all ready with all these beautiful pieces for all of you to come and make your selections as gifts perhaps for yourselves or for loved ones. That's a beautiful cupboard. It has that creamy yellow on the inside. I'm seeing some burl bowls. When I say that too, that's burl, B-U-R-L. It's the burl part of a tree um, that just has a very different kind of a growth pattern and grain pattern. And they are very, very precious pieces. So if you're ever out and about and you see one of those, that's definitely one uh, that you want to pick up. Just gorgeous. Oh, that's a mincemeat container. I don't know, am I the only person here that loves mincemeat? Or are you a fan as well? We'll go around the corner here this way. A beautiful cupboard in the corner. Wow, that fancy, fancy top. And it's almost a teal, almost a teal blue-green color. Just gorgeous. These, I think, are from Whirly Gigs. Carved early 19th century dancer. Another early 20th century carved dancer. A sweet, small, grain painted trunk. And that beautiful green, blue green on that little barrel or bucket rather 
And I'm seeing here another of the Arnett Santas. And something really unusual here, there's a parrot cage, an early parrot cage. Look at that beautiful Santa holding the little, little lantern. If you notice the hooked rug on the wall, um, I believe that is a frost pattern, one of the real early ones. And then behind me is a whole case of just incredible smalls. Just beautiful. The carved birds, the little leather books. Heart cookie cutters. Look at that redware. Is that maybe Rookwood pottery? Um, cat and then check out in the far corner there that beautiful cookie cutter these little toll wear pieces there's our painted look at that oh the dog he's gorgeous and a keepsake chest what does that say from 1820 origin from Maryland folk art watercolor Drawing inside the lid of a revolutionary soldier on horseback. Wow. Box also lined with paper from the late 1700s to the early 1800s. Yeah, these are these are like one of a kind. Very very rare, unusual pieces. Things you just don't see every day. Now, that's not to say that if you happened to go to an estate sale or, gosh, even maybe a tag sale or a place like that, these are the things to be watching for. You know, they do, they do end up in those kind of places sometimes when family members just have no idea what these early pieces are. Look at that beautiful whirly gig. I know I told you in one of the early videos, my first miss, gosh, I think I was probably 12 years old, and I went to an estate sale with my mom. Well, we were waiting outside, waiting and probably getting a number, but we were waiting outside, and the garage and the house both opened at the same time. And my mom sent me, 12 years old, to go check out the garage for the antiques. Well, I didn't really know what I was even looking for. And somebody who went at the same time that I did came back to the line with several early whirly gigs. So, I think from that point on, so I think from that point on, I decided that I wasn't I wasn't going to want to miss another one of those kinds of treasures. So it's just been kind of looking and watching and going to shows, educating myself, and even on pieces, you know, that are out of my price range. That's okay. But you're learning every time you go to one of these shows and you see these different things, you're learning. Or you can be if you choose to be. Look that really neat pair of early early ice skates with beautiful look at how intricate those skate blades are and again another beautiful grain painted humpback trunk on the top beautiful checkerboards so I will make sure that the phone number for the shop is included on uh, the screen and also in the description. And like I said, Steve does ship. So if you do see something that you're interested in, you'll want to call the shop. I would wait until after they're done on Saturday. Um, you know, we like to we like to have the things here 
that the shoppers, our customers, come from sometimes many miles away and sometimes states away. So, so if you want to try, maybe after after uh, Saturday, that would probably be best. Or the very best thing you can do is come. Come to the shop. Let's go on and head into the next room. All right, I am upstairs now in the shop. They're still trying to get everywhere ready to go for, for this amazing open house. And there's so much stuff, so much beautiful stuff. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to do, a lot to get ready for, and you are just going to be amazed. It is worth the drive from wherever you're at to see this. So like I said, I'm upstairs. I'll show you the hallway here when I go out into the next room. But there are several quilts and coverlets, several leather um, books, leather covered books. And I see some calico and plaid fabric colored early books right here. Oh, look how pretty. Gorgeous. Again, if you have a collection, you know how precious those are to add to. And what wonderful gifts to get for someone who is a collector. Lovely quilts. Beautiful bowls. That one is definitely an out of round. It's almost, almost an oval shape. You can see there is a slight crack, but like I've said before, that's perfectly normal and perfectly okay. It's, it's actually expected for these kind of pieces. This bowl looks like a tiger maple bowl. Now, most everyone really likes that uh, dry, dry finish look. Lots of people like that. Sometimes people prefer to um, have the, the shine or the sheen back that would really show off that pattern, that grain pattern. And um, if you use a, I'll put the name on the screen of the type of an oil, you can get it at the, um, a regular um, drugstore, um, pharmacy. And it's only a few dollars, but it's a very simple oil that does not go rancid, and um, it's perfect for using on something like like that if you choose to. Not everybody wants the dry finish, but uh, if you don't and you want to have that look, that would be the kind of an oil that I would recommend to use. There again, I'm seeing another bowl with a beautiful. A beautiful green probably looks like maybe a tiger maple bowl love that trivet in the heart shape and that sweet little cricket stool beautiful basket just amazing pieces here everywhere really a very very well done beautifully curated collection of pieces. There's something that would have come from a tree, um, a, a root, for hanging. There's a word for that too. I'm not sure I'm going to come up with that one here today, so if you see it and you know it, put it in the comments quick below. Lots of hog scraper candlesticks. More cookie cutters, silhouettes. There's a onion, onion bottle there in the corner. Look at the size of those early hair combs for women to hold their their special hairdos. There's a what looks like a Tommy stick. And some early redware and treen pieces. And that shelf hanging there on the wall looks like 
that is looks like it's green painted it's so well done it looks like as if it actually was green and here another another onion shaped type bottle with the pontil on the bottom where it would have been blown and then broken from um, how they were blowing the glass. Nice countertop desk. I love that. Whalers. Chandelier. All right. I'm going to head across the, the hallway. More stone fruit. Oh, this just looks so different than it did. Early, I can't remember when that was. Early, must have been early this year when they first opened. My goodness. Look at all that stone fruit. Another whirly gig. Look at this. Beautiful example of taxidermy. There's a, a word there. What am I seeing there? Herman G R I E B, I think. That must be the artist, perhaps. Another gorgeous example of tiger maple here, the single drawer table. Really pretty. Tilt top table, the artwork amazing is this is a lemon squeezer that's on a table look at that wow that is amazing very unusual oh and here yes that is the artist's name because this one Buffalo New York 19 Maybe 17, 19, 19. Is that perhaps a pheasant? Oh, and here's more. Yep, Herman, G-R-I-E-B, Buffalo, New York. This says 1915. I love the three-dimensional look, the back of that frame um, is really curved outward on the back side so that those can uh, fit inside. Really striking. Another four door, four drawer chest and several pieces of the rye. Oh, this one's a dough rise basket. And what would this one be? Maybe this one's marked. A keeping basket. We'll have to look that up. What does that mean exactly? Neat. Love it. I love this shelf unit here. That early color. And the boot jacks. That looks like maybe even a rose head nail, perhaps. That is neat. And that is a bed tightener. So, you know, the story or the, the saying, sleep tight. Well, that's where that comes from because the early rope beds would need the ropes tightened. You would sleep much better in a bed that was tightened than one that was sort of like a hammock. And so that's where that saying comes from. Sleep tight. Did you know that? All right. That hide box has the initials MB on the top. Really really striking. Look at these pieces of that looks like an embroidery on silk. 
and a silhouette and this lovely, lovely early portrait. All right, so this is the hallway in this early building. I'll have to ask Steve how old this building actually is. I'm seeing here, I, you know, when you're up so close to things, sometimes you don't notice, but that's a beautiful table with a couple drawers and coverlets as well. There's an ice cream mold and several several candy uh, cookie cutters. So many unique very unique pieces of that rooster. Put there and we got room to put other ones. Here's a really nice maybe noodle board or cutting board. And there's a hutch table. Smaller size. Really nice. Could be tucked here or there. And a dough box. Love the trim colors everywhere here. Oh my goodness. And now check out this room. Wow. Wow. <laughs> She's, they've done so, so much work here. That's a beautiful hanging shelf with some early green paint. There's so many different, different pieces, different kinds of things that have been rescued and saved to be collected and passed on to the next generation. I'm hoping, really hoping that these videos have some effect that maybe we can get another generation to honor this history of these pieces that have been so carefully collected by people over the years. I know it's a little hard when you're young and starting out and maybe moving more often than, oh, maybe more often than some of the older generations did. Some of these pieces are big, they're heavy, they're fragile, and so I guess sometimes it's just easier to get pieces that you can get at, um, you know, other, maybe some of the big box type stores. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try. We need to try to keep this, this look, this history, these handmade items, keep them going. This is an early funnel. Yep, that's a piece of train wear. So it was a tree, part of a tree hollowed out and then hollowed out to be able to use as a funnel. Isn't that just, oh my gosh. T to think that that survived, how long it would have taken to have made that so that someone had a funnel in her kitchen. I love it. All right, let's keep going. There's a tilt top table. And we'll look at the artwork here on the stairs. The funny right. thing is here is I'm standing the railing. I'm, I'm only maybe 5'5". Five, five. The railing doesn't even come to my hip because in those days, in the early 1800s, people were shorter. So it's just a part of that history of these, these homes that is so different. Okay, so you can see where I'm at now. This was the room that had the parrot cage and all those smalls in that case. And then we're going to come down this way. Here's going up the stairs. Put this 
And all that lovely artwork. Beautiful clock. Here at the end. And then look at that mirror. All that hand painting. And these silhouettes and portraits. I don't think I've ever seen one with nine all framed together like that. That's amazing. These beautiful bowls here sitting on this large trunk that is grain painted and accent painted. And I've got to turn this one over. This bowl. I love tiger maple. And that bowl is just gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Certainly out of round as they're supposed to be. That decoys trade sign. I'll look around this way. Oh my gosh, this room just wow. Just amazing. Look at all these pieceware pieces and the sewing and more of the treenware and peaseware pieces. Beautiful. Love the wavy glass in the corner cupboard. It says 19th century cherry corner cupboard original finish. Oh, that's would be unusual to find because so often Somebody in their meaning well will have repainted or refinished some of these pieces. There's another Arnett. Again, if you're seeing these, there are seven of them here when the store opens today for the four o'clock. So this video won't go out clearly until after that, but if there are, if there are any left, then they will be here on Saturday, tomorrow, December 2nd. This is definitely, definitely a shop to road trip for. Look at this corner cupboard, how fancy. All that grain painting, and then it's almost like it's book matched here going around the corner. And all of that early wavy glass. And then the gaudy Welsh pattern pieces inside. Lovely. And there's a, the tulip pattern. We've seen that before. Beautiful. Look at this lovely mirror here on this side. There's a hooked rug with an early cat curled up with the braided rug around it. And some initials on that grain painted trunk. And another trunk on top and then the brass, brass uh, candlesticks. Oh, there's six of those here. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful. Early feather tree. These are usually German from my understanding. Look at the little ornaments there, all redware. And then this beautiful Fence going around. Fence, feather tree fence, green and white, mounted on a board. That is really neat. And then these children's blocks. Those are gorgeous. You know, Christmas is so different today than it would have been back in the late 17 and 1800s. You know, we have electronics and 
all kinds of things, but it's not the way Christmas would have been back then. Here's a neat book I've not seen before, just for nice carving and whittling magic. This room is just, just gorgeous. There's a dry sink with the grain painting. A humpback, small trunk, MMB on the top. Beautiful, beautiful painting. And then here on this end, another beautiful chest of drawers that is all grain painted as well. Stunning. This tree with some early and vintage Christmas ornaments. There's a bell, several bells. Here, lots of, lots of smalls. There's a piece of seaweed. And some carved birds and small redware jugs. And then more, more portraits. And then this beautiful little line drawing of a church. Really charming. And looking back this direction into this room. We'll do this room maybe next. Look at that lantern on top of that high boy. Wow. And there's a feather tree, more green, with a little fence around it. So we'll go this way. Here's another Arnett Santa. Beautiful, beautiful early cabinet. What does this one say on it? This has some inlaid. What is that? Inlaid with fan inlays, dovetail joinery, rosehead nails found throughout the beautiful cupboard dating from the 1700s. It's an 18th century oak two-part Welsh dresser cupboard with beaded shelves. Amazing. And then look at all of those early pieces, uh, the pewter pieces. And then all these early lighting and candle molds. And here in the corner, some checkerboards, fancy, hand painted. Here's that high boy that was so dramatic from the other room. That lovely mirrored lantern. Getting there, huh? We are. Beautiful. What a difference. Beautiful carved birds in the tree. And here is one of those watch cases for hanging on the wall. And then check out these huge ornaments. Early pair of Christmas decorations. I'm trying to think what those are called right now, and they're not, not coming to me. Here's another, another one of those watch cases here on this side. It's hard to just take all of this in through this camera lens so that you can see it all because there's just so much, so many layers. The pieces are large, the colors are so dramatic. That is just beautiful. It's beautiful. Tiger maple desk. That one has those dovetails on the top also. 
Staffordshire dogs. I love that shelf. That nice paint. Here's another one of those watch cases. And a sampler. And here, the restroom is just covered, all the walls covered with mirrors. What a neat, what a neat idea. Very clever. Let's go this direction. So everywhere you look, there's another one of these fancy. This one's a Chippendale. Here's a very small early mirror. Another Chippendale. Wonder, can I get through all of that and not catch myself in there? Okay, we're going to come into this main room. Oh, look at that neat tin chandelier. Love that. Here, the mantle with all the lovely bottle brush trees. And a gorgeous hooked rug there. Looks like it's signed or with the initials A J B. Beautiful piece of art. Lots of fireplace cooking pieces and early lighting. Very nice. Very nice. Um, checkerboard. So much to see and say. Early sled. Original red paint on the lower part. Curly wood on the sled. Surface iron rings. That is lovely. That looks like a tiger maple. And then more of the Christmas pieces. Another Arnett Santa Claus. Lots and lots of the fancy and early painted pieces here for sure. So we'll go around this way and then I've got a whole other building to go over and bring you as well. That other building is across the street. That grain painted chest is just, just amazing. Against that blue, stunning. That nice big round table with these beautiful painted chairs. Okay, so now I'm in the building that is on the other side of the street from the big Hartford House shop. And this room right here is all set up like a tavern. Is this just amazing? All these chairs. Look at these beautiful finial knobs on the top. Absolutely stunning. And that stone fireplace. All that early pewter on top and then these shelves in the corners with these amazing Crocs. There's a cake croc uh, on that second shelf. Some Geneva. I'm trying to see. There's a Pennsylvania piece. Here are some rye baskets. And this one looks like this is a jug. That has a handle there on the back side. I'm not going to touch it. I've been clumsy in my lifetime, so I'm going to choose to just not, <laughs> just going to not touch that right now. Is that just a stunning piece of furniture? Look at that. All that beautiful wear in just the right places. Gorgeous red. 
key is there. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of furniture. Those lines are just so, it's just elegant. I don't know how else to say it. So this room, this building has been kind of a work in progress. And look at those beautiful, beautiful early boards for the walls. That teal, blue-green color. I hope the camera is able to pick that up. Just gorgeous. Those hand-hewn beams. Beautiful building. Beautiful furnishings. Again, this will be open tomorrow, December 2nd, for the Christmas open house. It does start tonight, December 1st. Put this, even if you can't come today, put this place on your bucket list here for Ohio as a destination spot. And you just won't be disappointed. I would definitely call ahead of time to make sure that they are in town and that the shop is open. I'm not sure what the hours are. I will try to find that out to, to include that. That's a pretty, pretty piece with the H hinges. A couple of beautiful uh, wide banded bowls on top. Those look like either a bird's eye or maybe a burl bowl. Love that color. This cupboard is really unique. It has the, the pegs here below to hang things. And then this table can come out from the wall and then that becomes the leg to hold it. So you don't have all the, the legs underneath the table maybe to be in the way of a specific area or a specific task. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous high boy. Love that. There's a cast iron snowbird. scraper candlesticks and beautiful pantry jars with the tin the tin lids this was an interesting piece here also this iron hand wrought shelf for use in a fireplace but how neat with that heart design all right we're gonna head into the other room that has a very different look and era from this one lots of the fancy woods here Lots of the tiger maple. The trim work, even in the building, it's very fancy. Am I remembering this correct, that the trim work in here was rescued from another building in the it area? Was, um, copied copy from another building in the area. Okay. Okay. Beautiful tiger maple clock. Another piece of tiger maple or curly maple, depending on what you refer to it. That one looks like a sawbuck, a grain painted 
trunk on top. Beautiful. And look at this dresser with the glass knobs. My goodness. So as I go around the other side of this room, I hope that this, this shop is on your list of destinations to come when you're in Ohio. Steve does ship and uh, they do lots of shows. So I would definitely check out the Facebook page for Hartford House Antiques so that you stay on top of open houses or special days here. There's some feathered edge pieces, a couple pieces of stone fruit. My goodness, look at how fancy the wood is in that four drawer, four drawer chest. Wow. Is that burl? It's a Sheraton chest of drawer, but that almost looks like, I would say, bird's eye maple. Beautiful. All right. Well, make sure that you like, subscribe, ring that bell so that when the next video comes up, you get notified right away. And then, again, the best thing that you can do for these wonderful shops that are holding on to our early American history is to share. Share these videos on your social media pages. Thanks everybody. Keep watching. We will see you in the next one.